One avenue of growth often considered by public authorities to spur economic activity on a national scale is a significant investment in infrastructure spending. Essentially, everybody wins here. Jobs are created, firms are hired or commissioned, capital funds are invested into the system, but maybe one of the key takeaways here is that tangible assets are created. A pivotal catalyst in really making this kind of growth stick is what we refer to as the multiplier effect. Now, what this concept embodies is that once the funds are injected into the system and the economic activity is created, it compounds in value and really expands as it goes through each stage of the economic process. One example of where we've seen this procedure really take place recently is in the new Suez Canal project in Egypt. The Suez Canal is a key global shipping lane, and what this project has done is it's added a 35-kilometer lane to the already existent 164-kilometer displacement so that ships can move more freely in opposite directions. This project cost approximately 8 billion US dollars to complete, and it is expected to increase revenues on a yearly basis gathered from the canal to 13.2 billion US dollars, up from 5.3 billion US dollars currently per year, so almost tripling it, which is significant if you consider that this expansion only took just over a year to complete. And a lot of this growth in revenue mainly stems from the increased capacity that the canal is now able to absorb. This has gone up from 49 ships per day to 97 ships analysts estimate. Additionally, the time needed to traverse the canal has been decreased by 64%. So what we're already seeing is that the benefits from this canal are not just centered in Egypt, but also take into account the 8.9% of the global shipping world that crosses the canal on a regular basis. What can be expected on a market level from this project and similar projects in the future is a contribution to this growth trend that we've been discussing previously. For example, these companies involved in the construction of this project will have increased hiring. These additional jobs will have aided in increasing the annual disposable income on a national level. We've actually witnessed this. In Egypt, annual disposable income has increased by 4% in 2015 and is expected to have an annual compound growth rate of 3.6% between 2015 and 2020. Additionally, this increased trade activity will also help boost economic growth. Explicitly, what we've seen is that real GDP growth has averaged 3% between 2009 and 2014. This will actually increase to 4% annually between 2015 and 2020. If we zoom in to this specific time period, since the groundbreaking of this project in mid-2014, real GDP growth has actually gone up by 1.6 percentage points from 2.2% in 2014 and is estimated to come out at 3.8% in 2015. Businesses across the economic spectrum can benefit from this kind of growth, whether consumer-oriented such as FMCG or industrial manufacturing. This kind of growth increases investment in the economy. It allows for growth and expansion of outlets and sales activity. It benefits the economy on a macro scale as well as a micro scale. If we continue to witness these kind of projects and growth in Egypt, we will definitely see some significant opportunities in the future.